I am Syed Musa Kaleem and today I am going to walk you through JSON how you can retrieve data from a JSON file so in this example I will show you how you can fetch data using JSON format in a JSON format you can retrieve data on a HTML web page so let's get started so what I have done here is I have created one HTML page called index.html as some of you may not know about index.html use while creating a project projects so let me clear this while you create or while you build a new project index.html will be called first uh, as it is a default view page or it is a default web page for your web, for your web project so i have given the name of this page as index.html and also I have given here you can say two h1 tags these two h1 tags retrieve data using JS, Ajax and JSON so on this button click I would like to show the JSON data which I am going to store in this file JSON data dot JSON so these three files are present in my folder called JSON this is the new project which I have created for this JSON format video so in this video we'll show how to fetch we'll see how to fetch data using JSON so let's get started in this file I'm gonna create a JSON structure a JSON format data so let's say YBM1 this is the first property So this is our first property and this property is first name would be our first property and let's give Sayyid Mahmood as the first name and the last name of this property will be will be something like this and the email you can see here I am giving these all things in a double quotation so this is the format of JSON this is the syntax of JSON you need to give in this structure you need to give in this format if you are doing if you are retrieving or if you are creating a JSON data so remember this while dealing with the JSON data let's say it said Mahmood at the rate gmail.com will be the email for this property YBM and our another property will be same as like this but with different attributes let's change this ybm1 to ybm2 the name will be make this in a caps so it looks copy down this and paste it here so let's change this email also save this file which is json data dot json you can see here the extension of this file is dot json so this file is a json file now this file I would like to show on the console in the console when the user submits or when the user click this button so in this script file in the JS file I would like to use jQuery here document dot ready on this I'm calling a function 
this represents that if the document is ready then we are calling one function inside this inside this function I am giving another event which is if our button is clicked if someone click this button then we are calling this function this functions are anonymous functions as you can see here there is no such names for these functions this functions we can call these functions as anonymous because it doesn't have a name this function is anonymous function inside this function I am calling a jQuery method called get JSON and inside this I am gonna give the URL of this page copy this and give here and as a callback function I am using this on a get JSON method if the if the JSON data is retrieved retrieved on our page then I am using and then I am giving a callback function with the object obj and inside this I am gonna give each function here I am gonna pass this parameter obj and again I am calling an anonymous function and I am passing two parameters key and value inside this I am gonna give console dot log inside this I am giving a value so you might be wondering what I am doing here so let me explain to you from the beginning so this is the document dot ready if our document is ready then this function will be executed after this when the user submit when the user click this button which is present on this page this button this function will be called which is anonymous function on click we are calling this function we are calling this anonymous function and if the user clicks this button then we are calling this function inside that function we are retrieving our data from this URL which is present on my local host on uh, my local host is easy PHP you can see here it is running in the background and after fetching after retrieving the data from the JSON file I am calling a callback function to show on the console on the console window on the console part I am gonna show entire JSON data so I am using this callback fun function I am passing a parameter called obj and I am calling another function called each this this each is actually a loop it it works like a loop it consider each property of JSON and display on the page and passing the and I am passing the parameters as obj and also I am giving another anonymous function here with two parameters called key and value and finally I am displaying on my console dot log this value so let's save this all files let's hop to the browser and let's refresh the page and let's click this button uh, as you can not see here the data because we are displaying the data in the console right below here you can see here when whenever you click this button you can see here one URL is given in the console when you expand this console you can see here the response the response on this page as a HTML part so this one is not showing the response is showing in a HTML form and I don't want that HTML form as a response might be I'm doing some mistake here so let's bring down this script files in the body let's save this and let's hop to the browser refresh again click the button 
yeah you can see here yeah finally we got the JSON part here and along with the properties you can see here object this is the object first name last name and email and the values are also given inside this object uh, I'm displaying this JSON data on the console in the console dot log function I have given the value in the script dot js file that's why it is displaying in the console part if you want to display on your view page then you can we then you can display the JSON data on the view page by giving some UL tags uh, inside that UL tags you can give inside that UL tags you can give the list items li tags so in that you can loop through with this JSON data so for now I am showing you how to retrieve I have shown you how to retrieve JSON data using jQuery and Ajax and in the console you can see here we have fetch we have retrieve our data as a JSON format so this is the JSON format which you can use in your web applications as this JSON is very popular nowadays you could use in any web application without reloading the entire page you can display the data using JSON and Ajax so these are the two uh, what you can say these are the two trending topics in the market so this video is for the newbies is for the beginners who want to learn jQuery and Ajax if you if, if you are if new visitor to my channel then don't forget to watch my previous videos on JSON how you can parse JSON and JavaScript using JavaScript how you can parse JSON format so my channel name is Epicop don't forget to like and share my videos please subscribe my channel and I hope you did enjoy this video thanks for watching this video I'll see you in the next video